Welcome to Orange Creek Restoration Area. It's just east of Island Grove. You have to drive through the community on uh, 219th Avenue, which dead ends here at the trailhead. Which is there. Right here is a gate and a fence, and it is marked uh, private property, no trespassing. But I thought I'd fly over and show it to you. It's a very attractive piece of property. The wildlife area, the restoration area that you're allowed to hike in and everything uh, pretty much surrounds this piece of property which is fenced in and you cannot accidentally wander on to the private property it is fenced in but I thought I'd show it to you now off in the distance you you can see Orange Creek and earlier I posted a video from the opposite side uh, which is managed by St. John's uh, Water Management. And they have an observation platform that you can go and observe wildlife. Now this is on private property. This is a looks like a little fishing pond. It's got a little dock. And again, you cannot go there. But I thought I'd show it to you. And that's a turtle in the middle. But it's a, like I said, a very, very nice piece of property. The property line um, ends right here in this tree line. And you're now flying over Orange Creek area. And this is Orange Creek. It's very much uh, wet. It's very wet. You'll see later on just how wet this is. It's more like a prairie. And uh, you cannot walk in it. You get bogged down. I guess you could if, if you wanted to take a chance. But right here in this area is where I photographed my first barn owl. owl. Uh, there were two of them there, but the other one was off in a distance, and they were talking back and forth. But I got a good picture of uh, the owl. I don't know if it was a male or a female, but I got a good picture, and I've been looking for it. And uh, if I find it uh, before I post this, I'll, I'll add it to the uh, video. But this is uh, the 219th. Uh, and the trailhead. I've never really walked all the way to the end of this trail. I've always gotten distracted and wandered off in other directions. But I, I will someday um, walk the entire trail. Now, I have never run into anybody out here, ever. I've brought people out here, but I've never run into anyone. Uh, photographers, ranchers, I, I ha I've never seen anyone. Now, on the way in, I did. The road was blocked by cows that had gotten out of the fence somehow. And I stuck my head out and told them to get back in, and they did. Who knew? Uh, but I also saw some turkeys uh, this morning uh, just on the trail. And 
Uh, they went about their business. They didn't seem to care about me, and I didn't bother them. This is usually, uh, um, if I remember, it was like a pond that I just flew over, but the water's low. But as you can see, there's water all out in this area. And it was straight ahead was the, on the other side of that water, is a observation platform. There is a boat out in the lake. I don't know if you can see it, but I think there's someone fishing out there. Now you can fly over private property. It's just best to ask people if they're present. There's nobody um, here right now for me to bother. So I flew over it anyway. And here's the end of the road and the beginning of the trail. There's not much to talk about, or uh, there's not much that I can say about this place other than it's a a really nice uh, walk. There are some nice uh, landscape uh, shots that you can get here. And there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of wildlife. I've seen a lot of sandhill cranes out here um, the last couple of years. Well, it's coming to an end. But I have attached another video at the end of this that you might find interesting. On the way in, I realized that there is a cemetery uh, just off of 219th that I thought you might find interesting. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching, and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why. I am learning, and I'm, I'm trying to um, put out better content. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I just like to do wildlife. There's that fence and gate in my car. Again, thank you. Welcome to Antioch Cemetery. Not far from Orange Creek Restoration Area, you'll find the final resting place for Marjorie Keenan Rawlings, who was an American author who lived at Cross Creek, not far from here, and her f most famous uh, novel, she's, she wrote several, but her most famous was The Yearling, which was also turned into a movie starring Gregory Peck, who, by the way, stayed at her house while they were filming. She passed away the same year that I was born. And as you can see, fans uh, leave uh, um, momentums, mo mementos, <laughs> I'll get it right, um, pins, a uh, bottle of whiskey, and um, little statues of uh, deer. And I've seen, the first time I was here, there was quite a few little statues and I don't believe any of these were among them anyway this is a very nice and uh, peaceful place as it should be anyway thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed <laughs>